All right, At Your Leisure fans, I hope you're ready because this weekend's adventures take us all over the world. First, we start off close to home as we head into the heart of Red Rock Country to visit the first ever annual Canab Red Rock ATV Jamboree. Next, Chad and I are off to the high seas and tour the Mediterranean on a motor sailing yacht. Finally, Reed Stein is taking us back east and back in time as he visits one of the most iconic streets in American history. Can you guess where? It's all happening now on At Your Leisure. Trail to explore a new machine to test drive. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Life can't get any better than that, right? <laughs> it is the best today. Hi, everybody. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. Welcome to At Your Leisure. Today, we are in Kanab, or in Kane County, at the Kanab ATV Jamboree. This is an outgrowth of the fun run they've had for a number of years. And we're out with a bunch of our friends. And, uh, you know, they say this is an expensive sport. Sport and you may go broke participating in it. Huh. So that's why we're on the Poverty Flats run today. <laughs> that's right, but but believe me, these rigs are, are beautiful. I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna have any problems today. No, as a matter of fact, I've not had a chance to drive a Yamaha Wolverine and Stedman's was kind enough to say, hey, take our demo and put some mud on it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah. On this Jamboree, we've got 12 rides, uh, all day rides, 30, 40 miles each day. You can come to Kanab and ride by yourself, but you just don't see the things that are here. You don't see the petroglyphs, see the Indian ruins, you don't know the history. You just ride, on, ride around and you don't ever know where you're at. On a Jamboree, we take you, we tell you the history, we explain what's around here and what you can see here, and and then you can come back and go on your own. It's a beautiful area over there. You drop down through the white cliffs and down into the bottom. Uh, you'll see some great petroglyphs and stuff down there today. And it's just, a, it's sandy and it's also got a lot of silk rock, so it's a diverse ride. Well, that's what's so great about Kanab. We have such a diversity. We have sand, there's a lot of sand around here. We also have a lot of slick rock. We're going to be riding, we have two of our rides on the monument, and that's the first time that's ever happened. Hog Canyon's always good. There's actually five trails in Hog Canyon. Uh, some that are pretty radical, and some that are pretty easy. There's a lot of good places to ride and a lot of things to see. So the view from the road, anywhere you go along this ridge, is absolutely spectacular. There are massive drop-offs you can see the white cliffs down below that drop down into the Virgin River Gorge. This eventually becomes part of Zion National Park. So uh, yeah. it's pretty, pretty exciting. Kane County never disappoints, ever, no, especially they, on a trail. That's true. They certainly They got don't. it going on. Doesn't matter whether you're on it on an ATV or horseback or with your feet. Right. There's always great stuff to see in Kane County. There is, yeah. Well, right now it's time for us to move ahead to our destination. We are off to a very new where to. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Well, we've descended all the way down to basically the Virgin River, but now we're going to go check out some petroglyphs, but we have to go by foot because we're not allowed to drive down there. As we promised, though, we uh, are trying a new machine out today, and so we thought we'd kind of give you our impression. Oh, awesome machine. Yeah, you know, there have been a lot of um, maverick mumblings and razor rumblings out there, some Terex talk. But the uh, Yamaha Wolverine kind of came onto the scene with no fanfare. I know. I didn't know anything about it until you showed up with it. Okay. Well, what were your impressions? Love it. Especially ladies, if you want to drive something really forgiving and really comfortable, super quiet. This was really a beautiful drive. I mean, riding as a passenger and driving it is a joy. It's fun. It's got a feedback system in its power steering, so it never feels mushy. Uh, it really soaks up the bumps. It's got a very soft ride, so if you're looking for the thrill of the Baja ride, that this isn't your machine. Right. Great for a family. It's, it yeah. seats people in the back, down low, but it also allows you to use a cargo box. You can pull these seats out very easily 
and expand your cargo space. We actually have a lot of gear in this thing with us right now. Yeah, it's it's a dream. You should check it out. I mean, Stedman's, of course, they're they've they're, got it on their room in their showroom. Right. My one my one note for the engineers is that it's very easy to get into. It's kind of hard to get out of until you figure out how to lift your fanny up over the part of the door that doesn't open. Yeah. And so it's it's a little awkward getting out of, and I think if they could rework that, they'd have a winner all the way around. Yeah, it's 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 minor. <laughs> Let's get down to the petroglyphs and look what you see along the way. A lot of the trails out here are a lot of sand trails, so you don't have so much dust in them. Um, you come up the ridges and stuff, and the trails will turn into rocky trails compared to the sand down in the flats, and it's sandy. This is the first one that Kanab has done, and Rob and I decided that we would, we would sign up and come and see this part of the country. We've always ridden mostly to the south of here, but uh, so this is new to me, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, the scenery from this side of the, the mountain is a lot different than on the other side. So the scenery over here is amazing. I have been on it once before and I enjoyed it and I signed up to come back, so I must have liked it. It's been a gorgeous ride. We've had a couple little technical spots, dropped deep into, into uh, Poverty Canyon. It's been a beautiful ride, it's been a beautiful ride. And it's a beautiful day. And I don't think you could ask for more beautiful country than this area out here. My trails are good and I like trail riding, but I'd like it not to be a highway. And this is a good one today. To get your families out and to get more friends out, uh, this is a good way to go. But yeah, we do love it, we do love it. For the first time, I think it was great. But the guides are great. They've been guiding this area, they know this area, they're the club guides, and it's been a great, great trip. You know, when you get exploring in the outdoors, you sometimes forget how big the outdoors is. They said it was just down by the river and along a cliff face. So I thought I knew, but we've been looking for our whole lunch hour. We haven't found it. I know, this is a vast area. But it, I'll tell you what, sitting down here, you could just sit right here on this little rock and take a look at what's behind us and all your cares slip away. You just sit there till I come to rescue you. It's beautiful. Kind of like, kind of like the crowd's doing. So we yeah. go from this beautiful shot of the Virgin River and we're off to our along the way. That is a view into the heart of Zion Canyon. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. On our ride today, we are as close to being inside the park on an ATV as you can. So true, Chad. This, this is fascinating, really. You know, some trails are all about the obstacles and you got to get around them and they're real technical. Some are about the scenery. This is definitely the scenery. Teeny bit of obstacle, but beautiful. Yeah, it's just been fun. The fun part's been weaving in and out of the trees. Oh my gosh. On the, on the tops of the plateaus. That's just a blast. And the sand's all soft and you're just banking. Oh, it's really fun. True. Anyway, we are, uh, we're going to get to our business. We've got to be on the scout for a contest winner, amongst other things. So let's get to the work of the show. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Gary Otto and his lucky muddy winner of a $400 gift certificate from Rifab, which offers custom metal fabrication for your rig. Visit Rifab.com for your details. And it looks like Gary's also going to win a $100 gas in gift card from Eagle's Landing. Woohoo! The only place to get the real gasoline, Clear 91 ethanol free fuel. Congratulations, and don't forget to call us to claim your prize, 801 947 8888. And if you need something else to claim, how about claiming one of these upcoming events as your own? On June 22nd, out at the Equestrian Park in South Jordan, Utah, is the 11th annual Ride the Brain Wave event presented by Children and the Earth. The event has a 5K race, motorcycle rally, UTV ride, a car show, and a concert series. That's a lot of stuff. Then June 28th through the 29th, we will be at the Beaver Lake Fest. Come out for a day of lake activities, food, and music. We hope to catch you there. Well, next week's show looks um, a lot better in this place. <laughs> <laughs> I like this place. <laughs> this is so cool, this place. It's a, it's, this is an old movie set that we're sitting, we're standing on right now here in mm -hmm. Kanab. What was the name of the show that they had? Oh, it's F True. Yeah. The movie Fort Apache, uh, I believe Sergeant's Three. They all use this fort stockade that sits out here outside the town of Kanab. It used to have a stockade fence around it and other buildings. Yeah, so. this was back in the 60s, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, so very cool. You can catch it on MeTV probably, all those really great shows. That's right. Well, you know, the people here in Kanab know how to throw an ATV jamboree 
And so you may want to mark this for your calendar for next year if you missed it this year. Absolutely. You have to come out here. The people are so much fun and the scenery is amazing. And then we're going to have a Dutch oven meal here. It's just so cool. It's very unique, Jamboree. If we get talking now, we can get into credits and you can drool over <laughs> what you missed for dinner. So remember, there is adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. Let's go right. leisurely stand in the food line.